Hey everybody, Dana Shea Williams here with KeepAllYourCash.com and today's video is going to center around the three marketing laws that are going to help get you unstuck in your business. Listen, if you've been in business for any length of time, you understand that it is inevitable. You are going to face seasons in your business where you feel stuck, where you feel like nothing's progressing, maybe you're not getting any sales, maybe your lead flow is slow, wherever you consider yourself to be stuck at, it's going to happen. You know, it's inevitable. So how do we get out of that? Well, first of all, I want to kind of take you back to some of the basics. I was on a, a team training call last night that was just so phenomenal. I really wish that everyone could have been on this call because what my mentor, who's Tracy Walker, what she shared was just priceless. It really was priceless no matter what business you're a part of. So this is not, you know, um, going to be a video that's centering around any specific business. This is just great sound business advice that anybody can use. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay. The first thing that you want to do is you must determine, first of all, again, we're going back to basics. You must determine who your target audience is. Now, if you have subscribed to this channel, you know that I talk about this all the time. You have to know who your target audience is. Who are you marketing to? Who are you talking to? Who is your ideal customer? What do they look like? Where do they hang out? What are some problems that they're having? These are all sorts of questions that you have to ask yourself so that you can understand who your target audience is. You know, it's interesting because you can have the greatest business in the world, but if you're marketing it to the wrong group of people, you're not going to experience any success. And I'm actually laughing because I'm thinking about a story. I might share that with you later on in the video. But anyway, so that's the first thing is that you must know your target audience. The second thing is you have to have a marketing message. What is your message to the marketplace? Who are you? What are you all about? If someone had to condense who you are in one sentence, what would that be? You know, for me, I'm kind of the inspirational business owner. You know, I'm sort of the, you know, small business coach that helps, you know, uh, people via inspirational messages. Um, I don't know, that doesn't sound very great, but that's basically in a nutshell. That's your marketing message. What is your message to the marketplace? You and only you can define what that is, but you need to know it because that is going to come out in every uh, form of media, every form of marketing that you put out there, that message is going to be there. So you have to know your message. And the third Third thing is you have to know your marketing medium and what that basically means is where are your prospects hanging out if you are marketing to you know old women who wear depends right they're probably not going to be on social media you know they might be at a bridge party or a book club or something like that so you're gonna to have to know where your customers hang out at you know it's so interesting because sometimes when we get online we forget the sound business practices from those um, people who work offline you know I have a very good friend of mine who owns a bistro um, in our local area here in Hampton Roads Virginia and you know when she was setting up her shop she was very deliberate about where she wanted to to be. She knew exactly the socio uh, socioeconomic class that she wanted to be in. She knew what her target customer was going to, you know, look like and act like. She has very high-end pastries. I mean, you can go in there and spend five, six dollars for a cupcake. Well, it doesn't make sense to have that sort of shop in a low income area, you know? And so you have to think the same way when you're online. You have to think about, okay, where are my target customers going to be hanging out at? How much money are they willing to invest? Because again, if you have the greatest product in the world, but the people that you're marketing to can't afford it, well, you're going to find yourself stuck again. So I hope that these three um, very basic but yet very powerful truths have helped you and hopefully you can get unstuck in your business. Listen, it's only a season. Don't get stuck on being stuck. Don't give up and don't think, you know, oh my gosh, you know, I knew this thing wasn't going to work. Just keep being consistent. Keep putting yourself out there. Keep marketing and you're going to find yourself very, very soon getting unstuck. So if this video has helped you, please click below and share this video with someone else that this might help them as well. And please leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.